there YouTube. My name is Molly and you are now witnessing my first YouTube video. Okay, so I've never done this before and I just want to give it a shot so I thought for my first one I would do like an all about me so I found a website on Google. So first one, where did you grow up? As you can hopefully tell from my accent I am from England. I grew up in Cambridgeshire, it's very very small, it's kind of boring. Um, I grew up in a little, little, tiny little village called Maney. And then I'm still kind of near there, there's a whole little community of village and stuff like that. Who is your best friend? I don't have a best friend, I don't, I don't really see them that much because they live so far away. But yeah, I do have really, really close friends that we do like have catch up um, some, like, most of the time and stuff. How tall are you? I am five foot five. People say that's kind of average. I'm guessing it is, but I'm, I don't. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm quite sure. Mm. Boring. Short girl problems. Cats or dogs? I love dogs. I have, I do have a dog. Maybe he's laying with me here. He's asleep, so I'm not going to disturb him. I'm a good dog owner. Funniest moment throughout school. I didn't have a great time at school. I thought school was really boring, but actually I did make my English teacher cry and leave the room. We were just being little and we were just shouting randomly, random crap at her. What year were you born in? I was born in 1994, so I am 24 this no, I'm 25 this year. Jesus, can't remember. Are you in slash have gone to college? I did go to university, but I only lasted three months because I didn't have a great time. I didn't, that's, n now think about it, that's not really the, the path that I wanted to take. What is your favorite drink? What does, does that mean? Like soft drink or alcoholic drink? I'll say both. I love flavored gins and lemonades all about that gin but any normal drink i prefer just like squash so like or just all like flavored waters and stuff what are your life goals obviously i'm i'm getting married soon um buying a house i just just like all the like the normal nice family stuff like i want to have a family i want to i want to be with my family all the time i want to work at the same time so I'm, i'll figure that out eventually but <laughs> i don't want to miss my children grow up what sports do you play or have you played Obviously we had to do PE when we was in school, I absolutely hated it. There wasn't anything that I loved, there wasn't anything that I hated, but I liked trampolining because you didn't have to do much. I don't like sport, it's boring. Have any books you've read changed your life? Harry Potter, duh. <laughs> That's enough said. What is your favourite movie? I love horror films, so... Mm, I like the Conjuring universe, just all of them. Grave Encounters. Who are your favourite YouTubers? I love Gabby Hanna, she's just so real, relatable, and her music is awesome. Shane Dawson, he's, he's just brilliant, isn't he? Come on. <laughs> All of his documentaries are great. I mean, come on, they're just great. Um, I like a lot, but I just can't remember them. They're, the, they're my like top two, obviously. Are you single or taken? I am engaged, only reason in October. It is now February. So we're plan I've half planned it. I just gotta go and do like go put deposits down and stuff. I'll probably be to do it like taking you on a journey of that while I'm trying to start up this YouTube channel. What is your idea of your dream date? How would you describe your fashion sense? Mm, a bit everywhere to be honest. <laughs> um, if you're in England. I love the fashion in Primark, it is quirky, like like this top, it's like the new Doctor Who kind of top, I love it. Uh, it's quirky, it's cheap, and there's all types of different kind of fashions. You could you could be wearing like a really, like an emo-y stuff, or like really girly stuff, that's kind of me. I can go like really um, a gothic chic, and then I could be like in something really pink the next day, but I absolutely love pink, and I love blue, my room is baby blue, I have a car that's baby blue. I just love like pastel-y baby colour. What is your go-to hairstyle? This. I've recently just cut all my hair out. My roots are terrible. You don't need to tell me. I recently cut my hair short. It was about 
it was down to here, like here at one point and, and it was just really dead so it was like nah let's go get it off if I'm going out on a rare occasion I'll straighten it and then do like the one hair behind ear that's what I'm looking for how many siblings do you have I have one older brother we get along so well he's just moved out with his partner I don't see him as much as I did, but when we do see each other, it's so great. What is your go-to fast food order? Go to McDonald's, I've got to have a Big Mac meal, maybe a side of chicken nuggets if I'm feeling a bit fat that day and I just don't care. And then I always have an iced mocha. Do you use PC or Mac? I have just got rid of my actual Windows laptop because, ugh, go away. Because it was, <laughs> it was rubbish. I didn't want to do the stuff that I wanted and I don't use a laptop that much. So I was just like, I'm gonna sell it. And now I have this beautiful iPad I'm reading off of. Your most memorable holiday memory. In October, when my partner did um, ask me to marry him, we was in Florida, we was in Harry Potter world. I thought he was doing his shoelace up, so I was completely oblivious. This was the first day we were at Diagon Alley. I was looking up at the dragon on top of Gringotts. He said my name, Mom. Yes. <gasps> and he was there with the ring. Um, <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I couldn't ring. Okay, yes. Literally snatched it off him. Did a whole turn 360. No one was looking. I was like, get up, get up, get up. Because I was just like, I don't want anyone looking. But it was really nice. And it's probably the best memory I'll ever have of being in Florida. What are your morning, evening routines? I don't have one. I, my alarm goes off. I moan for a bit. Get up. Just wash my face, brush my teeth, all that crap, do my hair, quickly scrunch it up because I have to have it up for work. Oh my god. I just get up and go. Evenings, pretty much the same. Just binge watch a load of crap on YouTube and Netflix and look at my phone and then have to rewind Netflix because I missed a really important bit in the series that I'm watching. Do you have any bad habits? I'm a mess. <laughs> when I say that I'm a mess, I mean I'm very lazy, I don't like it about myself. When I come home from doing anything, if I take if I take my jumper off, I'll just leave it somewhere. I'll let things pile up so high and then I'll be like, oh God, okay, now I've got to tidy my room again. I, I just need to learn, as soon as I take something off, if I'm gonna wear it again, put it in the wardrobe or the drawer, or put it in the wash. I'm just lazy, I just, I just can't be bothered, I just wanna take this off and I just wanna relax. I can't. Tell us one thing about you that you wouldn't know, that we wouldn't know. Obviously you wouldn't know because you don't know me yet. But since I've been getting more into makeup and stuff and looking at lots of tutorials and stuff, I'm quite, I feel like I've got a good technique in applying makeup and eyeshadows and stuff and I love experimenting and all that. If you don't, <laughs> if you think otherwise, let me know. I'll cry and then I'll still be crap at it. I like this look and the, I think the lipstick goes with that bit there of the jumper. I can't get this back in focus. What will I do? That's better. What is your favourite show on Netflix? Mm, there's so many. I really enjoyed The Haunting of Hill House. It was amazing. I need to read the book. What theme parks have you been to? I have been to Fort Park. It's probably one of the best, it's, I think I'd say it's the best park because it's so small and enclosed and stuff. But I've also been to Alton Towers. I do love Alton Towers, but it's just so, everything you have to get to, you literally have to like trek like five miles, I feel like it. If you want a video on what I think are the best rides and stuff to go on and how, how to prepare for a day at a theme park if you haven't been before, let me know. I've also been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach. That is a really good one. It's so much fun to go in the summer with, with a group of people. I've been to Universal Studios in Florida where they have a few theme parks and stuff like rides. And I've also been to Disney World as well. If you wanna hear my experiences being at Disney World and Universal Studios, let me know about that too. What is your favorite genre of film and why? Horror films, I said that earlier. I'm an adrenaline, I can't say adrenaline junkie, thank you. I love the adrenaline of being scared. I don't know why, I've just always loved it. If a horror film has made me feel like I cannot sleep with the lights off, you've done your job. You've, you've got into my head, you've made me feel like that I can't look into like the corner of the room without seeing the nun standing there or something. How many countries have you travelled to? I've been to Florida, 
Scotland, if that counts. I've been to France. I went to Disneyland Paris, but I was really little, so I can't really remember it. So that's an excuse to go there again, isn't it? And I've been to Spain because my grandparents live there, and it's so cheap out there. All we have to pay for is flights and spending money. It's brilliant. What do you do in your free time? I literally just sit and binge watch anything on YouTube that I think is funny or could give me some ideas to what I want to do on YouTube. I know there's so much stuff on Netflix, but I spend most of my time on Netflix like re-watching stuff because I thought it was so good and I love experiencing like the feeling I got when I found out that something's happened and I'm like, ah! you know, that was such a good moment. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. I felt like Jughead just then. I'm a weirdo. I'm weird. <laughs> Have you been to any concerts or festivals? I've been to see quite a few people. I've seen Cheryl, Cheryl Cole, Lady Gaga, absolutely amazing. Avril Lavigne, <laughs> back in the day. Wow, that was good. I was still in school then. God, Miley Cyrus when she was like, <laughs> yeah, all that. I've been to so many that I can't even remember them. Glee, we went to see Glee when back in the day. Oh, when they when they were literally like doing season two. We've also seen. Um, Leah Michelle and Dan Chris when they toured in London, they'd sing some of their songs, they'd sing some of Glee songs, and then they'd just sit and have a chat and it was oh it, was, it wasn't like a concert, it was just like watching something on the TV with like yeah, having an evening with them. I've been to V Festival, that's the only festival I've ever been to. And probably one of the best, I can't remember what year it was, but for me that was the best year. What social medias are you connected to? Most of them. <laughs> Obviously Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of the all of the normal ones you'll see. If you want to follow me on any of them, links will be down below, like usernames and all that. And now YouTube. Yay! Hopefully it works out. How do you get along with your family? Really, really well. We're really close. Like my mum me, my mum, my dad, and my brother. We're we're a really close family. We always like try and catch up as much as we can. Like I come home every weekend because my dog's here. That's what I care about, my dog. I'll show you when he's not asleep. I don't want to move him. Maybe I'll take a video of him later and I'll insert it here. Hello Henry, let's eeloo! <laughs> eeloo! Isn't he gorgeous? What is your biggest struggle you've overcome? Recently, um, last year, I was in a job that I really Really could not stand anymore. I just wasn't happy there. I got really depressed. I started lashing out at people that I cared about. They lashed out, lashed out at me, but for good reasons, obviously, to try to wake me up, kind of thing. But um, finally realizing that I was in that place and trying to and overcoming it and finding somewhere new to go, which I'm in a better place now, mentally and physically. <laughs> um, it was hard admitting it and saying that, yeah, yeah, I am, I'm not okay. A lot of people may will understand that it is hard to overcome that and admit it to yourself and to tell someone, because I did, I, the one person I told was my mum when I completely broke. Um, what are you happiest with in your life? Look the future. I love how my future sounds. I'm gonna be married in a few years. Hopefully within a few years, me and my partner will have a house. Maybe a child on the way, I don't know. Um, finding a different career path, I'm not sure about that one yet. So, that was my getting to know me video. I hope you enjoyed it and you hopefully know me just a little bit better so you can hopefully keep on watching and see what happens. Mostly I'll be doing like the most trending like movie reviews or like Netflix stuff reviews and stuff like that because I how I'm so opinionated it's ridiculous. So yeah, stick around and hopefully you enjoy my channel and you like me, hopefully. <laughs> okay, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming up. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Molly and hope you have a good time. Bye!